Sometimes when people care about another person's opinion of them, it can lead to health issues. Sometimes it's a certain level of stress, anxiety, depression, worst case, suicidal thoughts. You ever faced any of these obstacles when you did care about other people's opinions of you? Um, I mean, I have my own like personal issues. Like I've like been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. So I do like face a lot of depression, but I would say that social media actually like enlightens me a lot. Like it's definitely where I feel the most comfortable doing. So whenever I'm like doing things like this and like I'm traveling and I'm meeting up with people and like collaborating and just getting all these new experiences, like I feel so happy. Like, I don't know why it's just like, it's like a thrill ride and like meeting all these people and connecting and stuff. It's like, I feel blessed. So it really does make me appreciate life. Like whenever, I don't, well, I feel like the least of my worries are always social media, like the, cause social media makes me happy, you know? So I would say that the sadness doesn't come from that. What age were you diagnosed? Um, I was diagnosed pretty young. I believe it was like, let me think, probably like. Or what grade? Grade, like middle school. Middle school. <laughs> yeah. Is that something that you've been able to overcome or is that something that may stick around with you for life? That's what scares me. Like sometimes I just like think like, damn. Like, this, this don't go away. Cause it's like, you know, bipolar is just so crazy because it's like, you'll be feeling like you're on, the highest of the highs, you know, and you'll be like, life is amazing. And it's like, one day you wake up and you're like, damn, like, shit kind of sucks. <laughs> like, for no reason too, because it's like, you could be doing the same thing, you know, nothing changed from that day to this day, but except for like your brain, you know, like for some reason, like you wake up and your brain's just like all negative and you're just in a funk and like, you're just like, damn, I can't be happy, you know? So sometimes it does suck, but I have the best support team ever, like my family, and my boyfriend are like the best people I could ever ask for. And they definitely know how to like pull me out of situations like that. So I'm blessed for them. Uh, who is your boyfriend? Um, my boyfriend is Lindo and he's the best boyfriend that I can ask for. He does so much for me. <laughs> he's like really the man behind it all. Like I feel like I'm the little puppet. <laughs> like Kayla Thayla is just this puppet and he's like the one controlling it. He handles like all my emails. Like he's really the best like manager I could ask for. <laughs>